Hey, it's Sean Russell, Top Spot USA, and you're tuned to TSUSA Radio. On this episode, we're featuring the Jacob Jeffries Band, and guess what? We have some pretty cool merch to give away, and all you have to do is leave a comment and subscribe. The Jacob Jeffries Band have been popular fixtures in the South Florida music scene since 2006. Their piano-driven rock is reminiscent of Ben Folds, Gavin DeGraw, and Tom Petty. But the creation of the band took place in one of the most unlikely of places. We all started um, actually teaching at a summer camp is where we kind of um, started this band. And we've been in South Florida. We've been based in South Florida for most of our lives, trying to play rock music in South Florida, far away from the rest of the world. The band shares some advice for aspiring musicians. They also channel some nuggets of wisdom from rapper Lil Wayne. Really, it just boils down to playing live in front of people, with people, over and over and over and over and over and over. Repetition is the father of learning. Repetition is the father of learning. Repetition is the father of learning. When we asked Jacob about what makes this band special, he surprised us with his hunger for music. It's like the difference between like um, a, a burger from like a McDonald's or like an Angus steak burger from like a upscale restaurant. I'm going Cheesecake Factory on this one because I just ate at one, but um, I'm going Cheesecake. So it's the difference there. I mean, we're churning out a product here that we, we kind of, we are, we are, che we are Cheesecake we're Factory. Cheesecake. No, we're churning out a product that we really labored over and we, we are meticulous with our live show and the, the album. We spend months and months on it, and it's just, I mean, I understand that in this business, frequency is very important. You're supposed to put out a record every you know, couple months to keep people on their toes, but really, we, we really care about what people hear and how we present ourselves. With being mentioned in the New York Times and by winning the coveted National Songwriter Shootout, the Jacob Jeffries Band takes a moment to respond to members of the press. You know, being mentioned on any level of press, whether it's the Times or a local magazine, is positive. Even if they're saying bad things, your name is out there in people's face. So it really doesn't matter what, I mean, I'm not affected personally, maybe you guys are, but I'm not really affected by what people say and, and um, how much acclaim there is. I mean, it's great, it's awesome, I'm honored, but... Um, We're not making music for magazines. Yeah. I think one of the coolest positive things about it is being able to share the night with more people more people know that more people coming out yeah we're, we're doing life with more people that, that right. love what we love and that's the cool so as long as they're mentioning us it's like, great their fourth studio album tell me secrets is out in stores jacob shares an interesting story about some confusion over the title of their release new album out now tell me now. secrets now 30. Tell, tell me secrets guys um, funny story, I got a text from a friend today that said my marketing department, whatever that means, I have no idea where she works or what she does for a living, but her marketing department thought that the album name was Tummy Secrets, like your, like your tummy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not pregnant. Um, I, think, I don't think I am. To hear more from the Jacob Jeffries Band, be sure to visit their site at jacobjeffriesband.com. Also, be sure to like, friend, and follow us at Top Spot USA. Numbers count, and we appreciate the support. Hi, we are the Jacob Jeffries Band, and you are tuned in to Top Spot USA.